well, overly generous. Uh, welcome. Uh, it is a great day for the oceans and a great day for our global commons. Uh, I'm here to say thank you, and I ask that you not be modest. I would like uh, our three co-chairs and all of the commissioners to raise your hands and raise them high so we can thank you, please. Work like this never happens without an extraordinary staff. Please don't be modest. The staff of the commission and my colleagues at Pew and our funding partners, that, would you please raise your hand so we can thank you as well. And this is a special day for me and for the Pew Board. It was over 20 years ago that Josh Reichert, the head of our environment program, came in my office and he said, we have to do something to raise the call to action for our oceans. Their problems are out of sight and sadly out of mind. They're getting deeper and more problematic each day. Uh, it was that call to action for our board that led to many successes over those 20 years and some disappointments too. I'll only share some of the successes. Uh, the launching of Oceana in 1999, the Domestic Oceans Commission, chaired by Leon Panetta, whose recommendations have been pivotal here in the U.S. The launch of the first generation of marine protected areas or parks in the sea, and many other successes as well that we would have never been able to have achieved without partners. Partners in the public service, leaders like the great president of Palau, who was so inspirational last week in Washington and many others our donor partners who have already been mentioned, our funding partners as well as our colleagues from McKinsey and Somerville College. Yes, uh, we're talking about half of the face of our globe. It is managed by none, but it's important to all of us and only 1% of it is protected. I think these commis the commission has given us bold recommendations and these recommendations are terrific because not only are they bold, they're concrete, they're actionable, they're achievable. And working together, all of us in partnership can exercise our stewardship responsibility to make Mission Ocean Mission successful. So thank you all for your time this evening and for all that you're going to do for our high seas in months and years ahead. Thank you very much.